Hey there everybody, this is Potter Brony and welcome to another blind reaction of Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged, episode number 22 from Team Four Star. Okay, so, uh, last time we met Sid, took off on his little plane, uh, the Bronco, and uh, yeah, we're moving on, seeing what's going to be happening now. Let's just get started. Uh, as always, link in the description below. Be sure to support Team Four Star. And starting the video in three, two, one, and go. Soldier's log. Date unknown. Mm -hmm. How long has it been since we've crashed into the ocean? Days? Weeks? Years? Probably I been fear a few minutes. Soon my crew shall succumb to madness. To pass the time, I've ripped off pieces of my hair and stuck it to my face to make a wicked sweet beard. You know, I've been thinking. Sure, we've only been stranded for 15 minutes and the idea of cannibalism might become a reality. I wouldn't mind. But being out here, yeah, I'm sure. staring off the unknown horizon, there's something tranquil about it. Kind of reminds me of the time my dad took me to Keep the beach. Keep the story, it's so boring, blah, 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 blah. Hey, uh, Yuffie, you mind turning down the volume and attitude? Sorry, Tiffs, but when I get inspired to sing, I just gotta. Like right now. Nobody wants to hear about Tifa super duper dead dead. Yuffie, what the hell? You're acting like a. Like a what, Tifa? Like a dumb kid? Yeah, and if you keep it up, I'm gonna come over there and treat you like a dumb kid. And how are you gonna do that? Hit me with one of your dolphin blows? Guys, stop fighting! Tensions between the crew have escalated. It would seem that the only rational person I can trust now is Chocho, the talking chocobo that only I can see. <laughs> yeah, Chocho will never steer you wrong. Guys, look, land. Guys, look, land. How'd you glue that beer to your face? I don't think it was glue. Oh. I understand what they're insinuating. I will not say it though. Yeah. How did you do that in 15 minutes? All right, Yuffie. With no one noticing. I'm giving you a chance right now to apologize to me for the way you acted. Oh, don't worry, Tifa. You'll get what you deserve. You all will. Say, Cloud, you said you were in Soldier. Was that right? Sure was. First class. First class. So then you must know all about the Wu Tai War. Wu Tai? Uh, I know that war. Oh, yeah, I know that war. It happened close by, lasted a long time. Yeah like nine years, but I mean, really, who's paying attention, right? There were lots of casualties. Oh, yeah, just tons of dead Wushins. <laughs> hey, why are you asking about this? Because Wu Tai was my home, and Shinran's soldier took it from me. Oh. My B? <laughs> you guys need to strengthen your bones. So that's, uh, that helps with that. Smoke her motivation of hey, stealing all their shit. Where's Yuffie? Don't worry, she couldn't have gotten far. I'll just use Soldier Bolt and... I'll just use Soldier Bolt and... Cloud, I think... Tifa? Whatever you do, don't tell Beer... They stole all of our material! Even the ones that can summon gods, like Bahamut, Bahamut Hunter World! You're really upset that you can't summon your imaginary friends, huh? Don't talk shit about Bahamut, motherfucker. This doesn't make yeah, any sense. Yeah, Bahamut will fuck your shit up. Why would you wait till now to take our materia? Well, did she say she's anything? Close to home. Only about the Wu-Tai War and how Shinra ruined her life, so... Nah, nothing important. Wu-Tai... Shinra... Oh my god! Yuffie stole our materia so she could get revenge on Shinra! Well, that's assuming if anyone from Shinra's there, which, you know, none of us know. All right, sounds like we know what to do. Yeah, we gotta go and save Yuffie! Gotta continue our chase for Sephiroth! What the No! We're gonna go <laughs> save Yuffie! She could be in danger! Yeah, I'm pretty sure really? Yuffie will be fine now that she's got all of our materia. Yeah, even the ones that can summon gods. Talk shit about Bahama one more time, motherfucker. See what happens. So <laughs> We're just gonna abandon her. Obviously! It was a mistake to bring her with us, and I get that you care about her, but with every minute we waste trying to find her, Sephiroth is throats? further away. Yuffie is not a priority! Well, she is to me! Tifa! Cloud, we have to go after her! Ah, uh, fine. You guys wait here and, I don't know, talk. You guys wanna know how this planet was really colonized? Oh, absolutely not! See, it all started on another planet, with a little game called Blitzball. 
This must be the place. <laughs> Time to just get in, get out, with no distractions. Hey, look, it's Cloud! The Turks! Oh, my God, can we not do this right now? What the hell are you guys doing in Wu Tai? Ha! Like we tell you that we're here on a mission looking for... Vacation. We're here on a vacation. Yeah, so that means yeah. no doing missions, no fighting, and no answering calls. Especially fighty calls. But I got my sword out and everything! Then take care of it yourself and go to sleep. Please, Mr. Reno. Oh. We're just looking yeah. for someone. We promise to leave you alone if you help us. Uh, fine, as long as you don't ask any stupid questions. We're looking for a girl who's a ninja. I fucking hate you. If you're looking for someone, you can always talk question. to Gogo Kisaragi. He's the leader of the Wu Tai Nation, as well as the fiercest and most respected. <laughs> yes. The fighty sword has been sheathed. Huh? What? Hey, man, I told you. I won't have blueberry sickles till the end of the week. Yeah, I'm not here to buy one drugs, please. Do you know if you've seen anyone in town named Yuffie? Oh, shit, you know Yuffie? God, I love that kid. She's like a daughter to me. I am your daughter! <laughs> hey, there's my girl. Oh, shit, was, was I supposed to pick you up from ninja practice? That was 11 years ago! Wow, they grew up so fast. So, what brings my favorite kid that I'm aware of back to wu Tai? Yeah. Here to give your old man some gill? What happened to the gill I gave you last month? Sweetie, you know how expensive it is to keep your old man's motorcycle in tune? You don't even ride it! Well, duh. <laughs> Do you know how many DUIs I'm fighting? Ugh, no wonder yeah. mom left you. Your mom didn't leave me. She's in rehab because she couldn't keep up. Really wish I could move right now. Uh, you let shit yeah, turn our town into a awkward. damn tourist attraction! Hey, where the f*** do you learn that kind of language? You gave up and turned your back <laughs> on us! You're just a dumb coward! Well, you're just a dumb kid! Ugh, I hate you! You'll be out! <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. She can be a real hand. Really wish I didn't have to see Probably that. Probably wouldn't be too bad if she had a positive male role model in her life. Yeah, you can't find that on an evening street corner. Nah, just give her a few minutes. She's probably letting off some steam in her hiding spot. And that would be Yuffie. Are you in this giant stone pot? No. Yuffie, Cloud <laughs> told us about what happened with your dad. And we know why you took our materia. Please come out. We just want to talk. Why don't you make me? All right, have it your way. Cloud, punch that pot. Me? Isn't punching your thing. Punch the pot, Cloud! God, fine, hey, Don't be geez. a pussy, Cloud. <laughs> that hurt. Why don't you try using soldier ball? Oh, wait, you can. <laughs> Why, you little... <laughs> Keep it up, Cloud. Ow. You can't hold out that long. <laughs> That's it, Cloud. You look, we're almost there. There has to be a better way. Yuffie, there's something shiny on the ground. Mine, 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 mine. It's over, Yuffie. There's nowhere left to run. <laughs> that was a better right. way. Come on, I'll show you where I left your materia. Cure first, please. You guys must be pretty mad at me, huh? We're not mad, Yuffie, just disappointed. Stealing our materia and using it against Shinra is... A dumb idea? I know, but what else was I supposed to do? My dad let Shinra turn my village into a joke, so it's up to me to fix it. I just thought if I had enough materia, and I'd be strong enough to. Yuffie, materia isn't gonna beat Shinra. Working together is. So please, just tell us where you hit it. All right, see that lever over there? Pull it in and it'll all drop down. Seriously? That's a weird place to keep materia. Cloud, wait! <laughs> I can't believe you clouded it! Why is that still a thing? You'll be let us out of here right now! It will always be a I thing now. To you. you just now keep you reinforcing mind, it. I've got a date with Shinra, and they're gonna pay. Yuffie out! Cloud, go stop Yuffie before she gets herself hurt. I don't know, Tifa. Something tells me she might be all right. I mean, she did manage to capture you guys. She seems to be a lot smarter than she looks. <laughs> Hey, put her down! She's not smarter than she looks! What kind of creep kidnaps a girl? <laughs> so nice of you to drop by. Yeah, those kind of creeps. Thunderhead. Don Cornholio? What the hell are you doing in Wu Tai? Well, That's Donald kind of Cornholio to you, and I'm glad you asked. You see? After spilling the coffee beans to Avalanche about Shinra dropping Sector 7, Corneo went into hiding and the Turks were sent to go take care of him. Also, I've been captured too! Damn it! Okay, Cloud, think. 
I could go back and face the consequences like an adult and tell Tifa that Yuffie got captured. Hey, oh, no. hey Reno! Not a good time to be asking for a fight, Cloud. Elena's been captured. Yeah, she's not the only one. So come on, let's go save them! Look, Cloud, we don't just follow orders from... Hey, Root, Aerith and Tifa are trapped in a giant steel cage and Tifa thinks your glasses are cool. Rude! Think it with the wrong head, bud! So what do you say? <laughs> one time only team up? Ah, f her. Let's do this. Awesome! Yeah. Then maybe once this is all over, you and I can... I've got a headache. Ugh, I can't believe I tried to get revenge for my village and just ended up getting kidnapped by a pervert! Why are you even doing this, you creep? Because life's a buffet, kid! And I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Sorry, Don. But yeah, that's the only not thing creepy on at all. Menu is pay. Can I have a receipt for that one-liner, please? Tifa? How'd you guys get out of that cage? Rude found us and said you were kidnapped. And... Oh, Blueberry, <laughs> why didn't I pick you? It's over, Don. Now let the yeah, girls go. Really want to get I in don't there. think so, Thunderhead. <laughs> All I've got to do is push this button, and my dinner goes straight to the tray. Good! I'd rather die than let Tifa lecture me again. Oh, and do I have words for you, young lady? Tifa, don't say Not how you're the time. Say what she needs to hear. She's gonna hear it all right. She's gonna hear how she can't just let her emotions guide her on a vendetta. That manipulating other people is wrong, and that she's acting so. so. familiar. Shit. Yeah. Yuffie. What, Tifa? You gonna call me a dumb kid again like everyone else? You gonna say that I'm stupid and worthless and annoying? Well, guess what? I've already heard it. So what's left for you to say that I haven't heard already? I'm sorry. My mom died when I was a kid. That left me confused and angry, and I didn't know how to process it. So I covered up my sadness and started acting all big and tough, like nothing ever bothered me. Then when Sephiroth destroyed my Getting town serious. and killed my dad, I blamed it all on Shinra. Then all that anger I held inside just burst out. I tried to get revenge, but in the end it almost got me killed. I think that if I just had someone who understood and would talk to me, things could have been different. It's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. And you're a dumb kid, Yuffie, but so am I. So what do you say? Wanna be dumb kids together? Tifa! Aw, Yuffie, are you crying? What? No, I'm not! Shut up! Yeah. I'm crying, you're crying. <laughs> Was so beautiful. I too had a tragic childhood. Invisible shuriken. Ah, nice one. <laughs> we'll take it from here. Okay, Don. Before the Turks bring your pervert ass to Shinra, I've got a question for you. Do you think you could ever fall for me? Well, you're cute, but I can see up your pant leg that you've only got one test. <laughs> Yeah, how do I know that was gonna happen? Stayed in my hot spring. Oh, Probably should have. Uh, attempted murder is making me feel all. I didn't mean attempted. The cloud, well, uh, you that he survived that. Chance. And that's when my great grandpappy Sid the Tenth fought a flying fucking whale. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> oh, finally! I swear, if I have to hear about that spear grid one more time. Hey guys, I'm sorry for tricking you all and acting like a jerk. Here's all the materia I took. Yuffie, you can't just return and give us back all of our materia like nothing happened. I also got you a new one, Barrett. Bahamut Fighter Z. It's actually pronounced Bahamut Fighters, and you are forgetting. I thought I could do everything on my own, but I can't. Guess I still got some growing to do. We all do, Yuffie. Shinra may be strong, but together we're stronger. And we'll take them down as a team. No, as a family. Yeah, I guess we are like a family, huh? Tifa and Aerith, you guys are like a mom and older sister. We'll always be there and knock some sense into you. With love. Baird and Red are like the dad and his friend who sleep in the same bed and no one questions it. <laughs> Since the uncle <laughs> people are nervous about inviting over for the holidays, Vincent's the stepchild who never leaves his room, and Kate Sims, the cousin who's nervous about everything. I didn't know the Turks were being Wu-Tai. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cool older brother. Actually, you're the little brother who throws a tantrum when he doesn't get his way. I do not throw tantrums! <laughs> Come on, let's get back to fighting Sephiroth. In a minute. Uh, 
But first, yeah, the tube is a hug. Yay! So how did you glue that beard to your face? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you don't. What's been seen cannot be unseen now. I don't look at that beard on his face. But, uh, alright, so that was Final Fantasy VII Machine and Bridge episode number 22. Uh, yeah, they're getting along now, worked through some issues, got some, you know, serious moments there, punctuated with the jokes, as per usual, from Team Four Star and, and the type of humor that's to be expected from them. Uh, Looking forward to what they see, what, what they got for us next week. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.